WROL broadcast. Today I have with me Kage, M4, and Juicy Fries, and this is a Court of Owls special. Um, we are going to talk about a pet project that we've been, we've noticed more and more people have been uh, mentioning it, and we decided we'll go ahead and share what we've been doing. If you've noticed Wraith Abuser on the leaderboard, this was a project started a while ago by us getting angry that Bear, our free-to-play member, who stepped into one of our retirement alliances but will always be in our uh, Court of Owls family, was beaten by uh, somebody who played Wraith, played smart, did a 10.5 account, and we decided, you know what, we're going to use one of Kage's alts that he had, we funded it through the Court of Owls, and brought it up to a 10.5 account, and then Kage has played very yeah i don't think it's required to kage correct me if i'm wrong you really haven't had to play a ton and yes. once we got it funded it's been very cheap and you optimally geared it to win win wraith so first we want to apologize to anybody who wants to win world finance and wraith because right now our goal is to not allow it we're holding wraith, ho wraith hostage until some changes are made because for both people who gear their characters and people who don't who are free to play but just have cross that imaginary line, whatever that line is, and I'll let Kage speak on that a little bit more, you are screwed in Wraith. You you can't compete anymore. So Kage, I'll let you take it from there. Okay, so there's a lot of people that don't understand. A lot of people, even in Endgame uh, PvP, that don't understand the mechanics behind it. So I'll just give you a brief rundown. The, the thing that Hate Mail wants to touch on, it isn't be that uh, we want to make... Wraith a whales only event. Uh, people like to say, oh yeah, you whales have siege, blah, 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 but that's not really not the point. The point is the game should not ever penalize you for advancing your roster. The whole point of the game is to encourage you to get better. That's why every month there's stronger characters to replace the old characters. There's all power creep. There's all kinds of stuff, reworks happening that bump up their power levels, and God forbid you used a character in their former state with you know a low power power level, and then the next month they get reworked, their power levels get higher, and then you cross some kind of uh, threshold that the game calculates for you, and all of a sudden you're not competitive in Wraith anymore. Um, and that doesn't mean that you're competitive in Siege either. Uh, the game somehow takes account of your top four characters, and if they get to a certain level... Um, it automatically changes the difficulty for you in like red alerts, in wraith, um, in siege as well. It it it, ch it changes up your matchmaking, and so we really just want to see wraith um, fix it, the trophy system, to where it's a little bit better for the people who do advance their rosters, and then uh, still keep it friendly for people who minimally spend or minimally play the game. And I'll give you an example. Um... Bear, who's 100% free to play, he's never spent a dollar on the account, his favorite character is Starfire, who has a higher power score. So uh, he rebirthed her, and as soon as he did that, he only gets three to six matches. Which doesn't make any sense, because the rest of his roster is level 70, he's got like one or two L5, the rest are L4, but he's getting the same boards that someone like me, who has every single character L5, level 80, is getting. So it makes it so, and Kitty Little actually just ran into this. She spends some, but very minimally. I mean, I would say she's probably a you know minimal spender for the most part. She has her favorite characters. But her favorite characters are Batgirl and Harley Quinn MJ and some of the ones that have high power scores. And she crossed that threshold too, and now she has no shot at World Finest. You can't compete for World Finest when you have when you're only getting a handful of three to six I mean a handful of six to nine or nine to fourteen or whatever maybe once in a blue moon of 20 I've never seen anything above a nine in the last year and then we look at my alt project or my alt account Talon I don't know what we want to call it yeah Wraith abuser um, it's all 20 point matches like you refresh the board yeah you'll get like 
a three to six every now and then, but that's that's so rare for me to get a three to six. But that's just because they're level like fifty account, they're level you know ten account that just happen to be in the pool. But it's mostly three to or twenty twenty point matches, and so I only play for like half an hour, and I'm already up like you know a thousand points. How many points do you think you could do in an hour, like realistically? Mm, it really depends on the boards. Uh, Today, I th- think I just pied for maybe 20 minutes, and I went up 500 points. See, for 500 points, that would take me an entire day. Or pretty close to it. Yeah, because I'm only playing like a handful. So a board, I'm typically clearing my boards. Let's just say it's 200 points per board. Uh, every energy refresh is 200 points. So I only buy 10 packs, 10 energy packs. That's, what, 2K? That's 2,000 points. I'm already day one. Day one, I'm up two. I spent two k, and I'm already world finest. Yeah, that's crazy. And then we haven't had to spend like we we helped Kage fund this account alt account to get up just the ten or twenty you know required characters. But then after that, we haven't said to spend any gems. I mean, just the gems you get naturally from the game is all you've needed, right, Kage? Yeah. Uh, at the, the, <laughs> after that, it's just like it kind of just keep the self going which is crazy and so anyone who claims that you know you need a handicap because it's free to play friendly i think that's just kind of a cop out because we have raids now we have so many methods of getting resources now you know, with gems and resources and experience mats there's no reason why you shouldn't be leveling your characters gearing your characters taking larger gray points rebirthing them well, you they're, should be they're all... punished for getting your characters. And I don't want to see where free-to-play or I mean, newer players have no shot at competing, at least getting uh, M4. I don't know what's going on with your mic. But it's, like, dreadful. All right. <laughs> I don't know if he was trying to talk or what. No, I was going to say something. It's, okay. it's not even all of those things. All right. So my problem is... Why is the scoring different depending on the tune's power level as opposed to what you're trying to beat? So let's do my favorite game. Let's say NBA, right? So let's say Steph Curry shoots a three. It's three points. And then let's say Dwight Howard. If he shoots the same shot, he gets five points. That would be insane, right? Everyone would be crying like, why the hell is he getting more points? It's the same shot, right? You beat the same thing. You've done the exact same thing. It doesn't makes sense that the one who tries to get better is getting penalized for getting better, right? So it's all of those other things, but mainly because of this. It's, the scoring should be based on how difficult the opponent is, how strong it is, as opposed to how weak you are or strong you are. That's my main issue with trade right now. Juicy, do you have any um, suggestions or thoughts? Yeah, basically, basically it's the same sentiment because um, all the all the effort into upgrading the characters just to be punished whereas I have to do three matches of high difficulty just so the other person can do one match and get actually more points than me because it's 20 versus 18 I just don't see the logic behind that you shouldn't be punished for upgrading your your, your roster right. Now, I do have one thing to say. Having played on this alt, I will say it's a little, little bit eye-opening how tougher... You know, it's not that much tougher, but my, my matches are harder. Um, anyone with a fully fleshed-out roster will have the luxury of being able to auto their battles, whereas I have to manually play, and I can't really, <laughs> I can't really auto because I just get screwed. I can't really auto that often anymore either. I've come to find with all these rebirth teams, but yeah. <laughs> but either way, uh, the fights are a little bit more difficult. So I can see the argument that you should be scored based on the perceived difficulty. But even then, I have like a 24k all blue team beat out a 34k all green team. So how hard could that be, right? Yeah, I think it's it's not so much... I do kind of agree with if you're fighting a harder match, you should be rewarded for it. But on the flip token, it seems like the disparity is just tremendous. Especially since we've done this experiment. I mean, you don't find it to be that difficult. And no. You can do it, I mean, you, you can do it 
You can play your full time or your main character, and then in your free time, win World's Finest every week with no issues. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's that's insane. So, instead of just complaining, you know, like people have always, you know, thought of us as just complainers, we should just. I would. I do have a couple suggestions um, on how to fix Wraith. Uh, one of my suggestions would be to. Um, tighten the point spread a little bit, or uh, adopt the idea that M4 said is don't calculate the top four of your roster uh, when uh, calculating the points, I guess. You'd want to calculate the team that you're bringing in versus the team that you're fighting, per se. Uh, M4, I don't know if you want to expand on that idea. I, I don't want to calculate based on what you bring, because like, for hate mail, he has no choice. He can't bring anything less than 32k, right? Unless he brings two, three tunes, right? So it should be based on the opponent alone, right? How difficult or how, how the score, power score of the opponent is, regardless of what you bring. If you want to have a hard time, who cares, right? It should still be the goal, not how you got there, right? So I think it should be based on rank and the power score of the opponent. It has nothing to do with what you have. I think Wraith could also benefit from adding a board clear bonus, kind of like Ray or kind of like Siege. Uh, gives you an incentive to clear your boards and bring out more characters. And you know, if there's that hard team that you can't beat, you can't just skip it. Uh, you gotta you gotta clear that char- clear that beat that team and get a bonus for it. See, I always thought that would be the solution to to Wraith, was doing a board clear, and then have the board clear get higher depending on what tier you're in. So if you're in okay. rank 5,000, the board clear is 50. If you're in rank 1,500, the board clear is 75. If you're in top 100, the board clear is 100. Okay. I, I have a theory on why Wraith is so broken. So Wraith was fine before Deathstroke happened, right? There's some disparity with the points, but not so much, right? So the star system was implemented, right? And also the def- well, the defense defense wins are not based uh, due to death stroke, but something else boosting. But that's been addressed, right? So those two things we should go back to the way uh, the old scoring goes. So defensive wins should not be limited to two and three points. So that's where the you know whale rosters could even out the disparity right so if you win you get i think we get full points before right i remember sleeping back then and then waking up gaining more points right i think that would even out the disparity and also the star system i think it should be limited to mm. yeah get rid of the star system um i think a lot of other whales have wanted have vouched for an elite pvp scenario where if you have a maxed out gear 11 roster you should be able to play in your version of wraith and all the gear 10.5 and lower people get to play their version of wraith but i don't know how i feel about that one because then I, you I, have you have no right. nobody to play except for other whales <laughs> right and i how do you how do you screen people from joining which league right I yeah think you would have to choose which one you're going to enter for the week that would be the only way to do it but it'd be difficult to do i think right Right. So let's say rate abuser. Let's let's use him as an example. He he would still join the big leagues, right, and still win. It's the scoring system that's broken, not that you know there's a divide, right? Well, and the other thing divide. I think too, because I know some people that are gear ten that manage to get up into the fifteen hundreds are going to be like, oh, that's you know, I'm not going to be able to get enough points, etc. I really think the lower tier, um, if you score lower you should get gear or different materials to help you gear up. That way, you you almost are happy that you don't make it to the higher ranks. Yeah, I can agree with giving out gear, like a pack of... You should get like a pack of random gears uh, or rings, whatever. I, I don't know about rings, but gear gear materials, because we've already have raids and everything now. Just give gear and just give away gear and XP materials and Wraith. But Kage, that's not going to solve anything. You know why? Why? Because Wraith Abuser would still do the same thing, right? 
you're not going to use those gear. You're just going to use them on other tunes that you want to bring up and still well, you, be at 10.5. Well, you're in addition to adjusting the scoring with yeah. the ideas. Because now you're, if you don't rank as high, you're not as upset because you're, you're gaining materials to help rank higher. Oh, you know a big thing is I also want to see uh, more PvP brackets. So not just the top 100, top 1500. I want to see like a top 300, top 500. Yeah, top, that would be good. You kind know, of like Siege? Yeah. Break up, break up more PvP tiers so that people who you know, work hard to get into a top 100 don't feel screwed because they still have you know, top 300, they have top 50, they have top whatever. You know? Yeah, it's not a bad so, idea. So, yeah, gear and more PvP tiers, uh, reward tiers, I would say. That would help with the whole... Oh well, you're a whale, so you have more stuff than me, so you you shouldn't, you know, get more points like I do. That kind of thing. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Any final thoughts, Fries? Oh, pretty much agree with what you guys said. Yeah. And I don't care that much to be honest with you anymore because most of, but it's annoying when there's a character I'm actually interested in, and I don't even, I can't even get to top 100 anymore. It just takes. So much time. I can't do it. Black Adam. I mean, <laughs> I gave up race. But Black Adam. <laughs> <laughs> that is a new sound drop, just so you know, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess that wraps up there. And uh, I'm Renee. Hi, this is Renee Sylvia, 88, DC Legends moderator. Thank you for listening to this episode of WROL Broadcast. If you liked the show, please help them out by becoming a Patreon and earn special rewards. Just go to patreon.com slash WROL Broadcast. Please don't subject us to the creepy ogre news voice.